Hey there, Sign of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading for you, and it's going to be for your February 2022. February 2022 for Capricorn. We're going to take a look at what it is would be wise to love in February, what it would be good to accept in February, and what you should let go of in February. And I'm using um, Kim Kren's The Archetype deck. I'll probably use some kind of tarot deck to clarify. Okay, so spirit guides, angels, please join us and give us messages for the sign of Capricorn. All right, what you should love in February. That's a lot. Let's not do that many. <laughs> Too many. What we should love in February. The river. Good. Going with the flow. Being in flow. Um, how easy and effortlessly uh, it is that you work here, too, with your horse. Usually the horse is a very hard worker, but with all this uh, watery emotion here, too, blended with it, uh, I'm feeling like something is effortless. Something will be effortless for you. It is built into your passion. Okay, what you should accept in February. Accept in February. Death. And I did notice the grief card over there when I was looking to the right. I just noticed the grief card. Thanatos, which is Thanatos, is um, death, right? It might be the death or the ending, like coming to um, a dead end. It may be in something like new, like like developing a skill here. Because I'm noticing the spider web and I'm, I'm thinking... That might be you weaving something magical to life. So accepting death, accepting that this is part of life, that is what to accept. What to let go of. What to let go of, Capricorn. Too many. To let go of, Capricorn. Mm. You may be able to heal a lot of hurt or repressed emotions by the ocean. Um, or going on a cruise or something like that is going to be really healing for you. You're going to notice that the emotions pop out more. Um, and in that sense, things get really personal. But things get healed. So let go of really anything surrender to this healing let go of how to do something and let go of the hurt and heal let go of the hurt and heal is the message let's pull um let's pull some tarot <clears throat> and we'll address each one of these separately so to love being in flow the river here being in flow the river Capricorn being in a flow things coming effortlessly and things working out flowing around obstacles also what is this river card here for tarot clarify the river card okay go with the flow don't press or force anything um, let down some of your boundaries. Some of your walls are put up only because you haven't let go and healed something. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe stopping fighting for something, though. Let's find out what. And, and more so going with the flow. What else with the Nine of Wands? Because I feel like that's like... Oh, wow. Nine of Cups. Wish granted. You can stop trying... It's going to effortlessly come to you. You don't have to go after it. And you'll flow around this energy. You'll flow around it. Nine of Cups is your wish granted, guys. So that's what you should love about February. Is 9-9 nine, nine, when you accept this ending. Ooh. 
dang, look, Ace of Pentacles. When you accept an ending for how it is, or a story for how it played out. Lots of money comes in, wishes granted, nine of wands in the reverse. What is Thanatos about? Big opportunities, wish granted with the Ace of Pentacles. Accepting an ending to some kind of situation dealing with an authority or somebody who's an authority, and this is a long-standing family issue. Once again, lots of prosperity. There's the focus, the drive, and the attention. Everybody's being taken care of. Something is not under some discipline. Saying by wrapping up a uh, Judicial, like uh, court cases, wrapping up something with court. A victory, a lasting legacy here. Closing, possibly splitting money up from a closing of an estate. What else with this Thanatos? The Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups. Yes, you're holding on to something from the past the way that something was, and we need to let go of that. I feel like this might be a new person coming into your life. It may be a Pisces. We have Pisces up here too. Um, let's see what we have to clarify the healer and the ocean here. Well, okay. So clinging to the past, sadness, disappointment in somebody, or still grieving over somebody that you had lost, because this is uh, losing someone sometimes, the end of the road for a person's physical body, not their spiritual body, obviously. What is the healer about here to let go of? Healing a work situation, overindulgence. Making things fair and healing. Making something reciprocal, an equal give and take, an equal participation. Uh, what goes around comes around. Disappointment in somebody that overdid it. But there is healing for them too. And there is healing for this work situation here. It's part on, of the surrender how you're going to solve something. Surrender having to know yet. Let go of how and let go of judgments that you place upon yourself and others will help you. Because this is kind of holding on to some kind of uh, resentment. Hmm. Until someone else is happy, possibly a child, you won't be completely happy. And holding on to... Uh, criticism, harsh judgment, and it might be because deep down we judge ourselves, but we're going to be healing this judgment that we have of a, this wasn't a victory. This, you know, this isn't my complete happiness. It's like when this, when this happy squirrel is happy, you're, you will release judgment. You will release, um, some of this pain when a relationship or partnership gets better and that's what i've got for you all let's um let's pull another uh, uh, oracle card for you capricorn capis capis ll cool j love you better um da -da 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 -da. it's talking about how um ll cool j love you better like that the person could do better loving you a person could treat you better or something like that. Or maybe it's somebody else could love you better. Uh, Ed Sheeran, thinking out loud, thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. This one, the one I'm being pulled to, the line I'm being pulled to is, and I know you don't feel appreciated and whatnot. I used to tell you that your hair looked fly, kiss you slow and stare in your eyes. Now every sentence, every other sentence is you make me sick. Back in the days, I was your number one pick. 
can't stand to see you bouncing with somebody else. And then maybe we found love right where we are. All right, and yes. finding forgiveness, surrendering any resentments, and finding forgiveness is the issue. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. And criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. That's what I got for you. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.